привет! С вами Елена, и я очень рада нашей новой встрече. Как дела? Надеюсь, все отлично. Как настроение? Надеюсь, просто замечательное. Today I want to speak with you about verbs in Russian language. Verbs are the words that express an action, a process or a state. Russian verbs also have ending to indicate the person and number of the verb subject. In Russian there are six such personal endings. One for each subject in the first, second and the third person, singular and plural. Changing the personal ending of the verb so that they agree with the subject is called conjugation. In the Russian there are two conjugation patterns, called the first conjugation and the second conjugation. All regular verbs belong to one or these two conjugations. I have a good news for you. Russian verbs have just three tenses. The present, now, the past, prior to now, and the future, subsequent to now. Let's speak about conjugation ending. Please see the table. You can see that ending conjugation 1 is first person you or u. Second person, yesh or yosh. If ye is stressed, then we read it as yosh. Third person, yet or yot. The same about stress. Plural, first person, yem, yom. Second, yete, yote. Third, yut, ut. Now compare with the conjugation, second conjugation. First person, you, u. Second person, ish. Third person, it. Plural, first person, im. Second, ite. And third, yat, at. Now let's see example. Uh, the first conjugation, I want to give you word znać. No. Ja znaju. Ty znajesz. On, ana, znajet. My znajem. Wy znajecie. Ani Знаю. And the second conjugation, uh, I want to give you the word говорить. So speak. Я говорю. Ты говоришь. Он, она говорит. Мы говорим. Вы говорите. Они говорят. Let's see more examples. You can see to infinitive of word. Читать, писать, иметь. It's the first conjugation and говорить, видеть, second conjugation. Читаю, читаешь, читает, читаем, читаете, читают. Пишу, пишешь, пишет, пишем, пишете, пишут. Имею, имеешь, имеет, имеем. Имеете, имеют. In the previous example we speak about word говорить. And видеть. Вижу, видишь, видит, видим, видите, видят. Also important is the stress patterns. We have three forms. First one, stem stress. All forms are stressed on the same syllable of the stem. For example, читать. Иметь, видеть. Second, and stress. All forms are stressed on the same syllable of the ending. For example, говорить. And the third is shifting stress. The first person singular ending is stress, but the stress shifts back on syllable in all of the other forms. For example, писать, but пишешь, пишет, пишем. Also, I want to tell you about consonant alternation in conjugation. In a number of verbs, the final consonant of the stem alternates with another consonant in a certain forms. I'm sure that you certain the word видит and вижу. In the first conjugation verb that have a consonant alternation, the change takes place in all forms of the verb. For example, с Change on sh in писать, right? Пишу, пишешь, пишет, пишем, пишите, 
пишут. In second conjugation verb that have a consonant alternation, the change take place only in the, the first person singular. For example, D in Ж. Видеть, but вижу, and видишь, видит. In order to conjugate in Russian verb, then one must know three essential facts. First, whether the verb belongs to the first or second conjugation. Second, whether the verb had fixed or shifting stress. And the third, whether the stem final consonant alternates with another consonant in conjugation. So the information needed to conjugate a verb is not predictable from the infinitive. One approach to learning the conjugation of verbs is to memorize at least three key forms of each verb the infinitive and the first and the second person singular. For example, infinitive писать, first person singular пишу, and second person singular пишешь. Let's learn several useful and common verbs. Uh, first conjugation знать, делать, играть, думать, работать, Слушать, понимать, повторять, читать, отвечать, отдыхать, гулять, завтракать, обедать, ужинать. And the second conjugation – говорить, курить, смотреть, помнить, учить. Любите и будьте любимы и будьте счастливы. С вами была Елена. Пока-пока и до новых встреч.